Welcome to the QuickBooks Payables Import Guide. To begin, in your QuickBooks software, under the chart of accounts, create a new account and title it Telpay Clearing. You will enter these exact new account details in your Telpay for Business software under System Administration, Payment and AP Settings. So the title that we see right here needs to match up identically with what you've just created in your QuickBooks software. Once you've done that, you're ready to start the payables process. In your QuickBooks software, you're going to enter in all your invoice details just as you normally would. When we get to this screen here, this is the first screen that two small adjustments need to take place. The first small adjustment is the method. You no longer want to be posting these as a check or a cash method. You want to make sure it's selected with direct deposit or direct debit. The second small adjustment is the account you're working out of. You're no longer posting these to your regular operating or checking account. You're now going to be posting them to your Telpay clearing account that you just created in your QuickBooks software. Once you've made these two adjustments, you can then select Pay Selected Bills. We can then select Done and finish up in QuickBooks. We'll now open our Telpay for Business software and import our payments under Importing and Creating Payables Files. We'll hit the Auto Import button right in the middle of the screen. You can see that it's imported the vendor that I paid. I need to set them up the very first time I pay them and only the first time I pay them. And I do that by selecting the little gray box with the gray pencil in the middle of the screen. The first step is to cross-reference, search and find to see if the biller or the vendor that I want to pay already exists in the Telpay for Business system. I'll select Find. And sure enough, it finds one that matches the vendor that I want to pay. I can confirm that it's the correct vendor for me by the postal code in the grid-like pattern. If I select the postal code, I'm also given a phone number to confirm the vendor by. If this is the correct vendor, you can select Use this biller. You'll then note that your bill account number has been imported and you just need to tab over to confirm it. Once we've done that, we can select OK. Our vendor is now set up and we're ready to continue on by selecting Next. We'll confirm all the details that we've entered into this file and then we'll select Next. The signing officer now needs to enter in their electronic PIN to approve the payments or we can email them for approval. And once we have the signatures or the electronic PINs, we can now select our payment option. There are two payment options with Telpay. Select the best one for your internal processes and then select Send Payments. Once your system has successfully connected to Telpay, you will receive a transmission report, which you can print or continue on from. This report will be stored in the history on your Telpay for Business software. You will then be required to back up your system. This is important. Select a network drive or an external drive and then select backup. The final step is to import a journal entry from the Telpay for Business software back into your QuickBooks software to zero out your clearing count. We do this in the QuickBooks software under File, Utilities, in Utilities, Import, IIF Files, We'll then find our Bill Pay, Tell Pay, Access folder, and then select the TGL EXP folder. Then select the most recent QuickBooks file, open it, select OK, and your clearing account has been zeroed out. You've also completed the payables process. Welcome to the Stage 50 Payables Import Guide. To begin, in your Stage 50 software, under your chart of accounts, create a new account and call it Tell Pay Clearing. You will enter the account number for this account into your Telpay for Business software under System Administration, Payment and AP Settings. This number right here needs to match up identically with the number for the account that you just created in your Sage 50 software and titled it Telpay Clearing. Once you've done that, you're ready to import your payments. The payment process is going to begin in your Sage 50 software. I've already entered in all my purchase invoice details such as the amount and the date. So all that's left for me to do is actually pay these payments. Everything prior to the screen in your payables process will remain the exact same. There's only two small adjustments that need to take place on the screen here. The first small adjustment is the account that you're working out of. You're now going to be posting your payments to your Telpay clearing account. The second small adjustment is your check number. We recommend you assign a check number or a reference number to these payments, such as DD12. We'll then select Process. We're now ready to import the payments into the Telpay for Business software. We begin that process under Importing or Creating and select Payables File. We select the Auto Import button right in the middle of the screen. And what it's done is it's brought in the payment that I posted in my Sage 50 software and process that into the Telpay for Business software. The first time I pay the vendor I want to pay, I need to set them up. You do that by selecting the gray pencil right in the middle of the screen. You only need to set them up the very first time you pay them. 
The first step in the setup is to search and find the vendor you want to pay and see if they already exist in the Tell Pay for Business database. So we'll do that by selecting Find. Sure enough, it finds a vendor that matches the name of the vendor I want to pay, but I need to confirm that this is the right vendor for me. I can confirm by postal code, which I see in the grid like pattern. And if I select the postal code, I can also get a phone number to confirm by. If this is the correct biller that I want to pay, I need to select Use This Biller. You'll then notice that your bill account number has been imported for you and you need to tab over to confirm it and enter it in to confirm that it's correct. We'll then select OK. And our payment is now highlighted, which means it's set up and we're ready to actually pay the payment. So we'll select Next. We need to confirm all the contents of the file that we've processed up until now by selecting the check boxes and then selecting Next. Now our signing, office needs to, signing officers need to enter in their PIN to approve the payments directly into the software or we can email them for approval. We'll then select the payment option. There are two payment options with Telpay. Select the best option for your internal processes and then select send payments. Once your system has successfully connected to Telpay, you're going to receive a transmission report which you can print or continue on from. This report will be stored in the history of your Telpay for Business software. You will then be required to back up your system. This is important. Select a network drive or an external drive and then select backup. The final step is to import a journal entry from the Telpay for Business software back into the Sage 50 software to zero out your clearing account. We do this under File, Import slash Export, Import Transactions. We'll select Next. We'll select Next again. And then we're going to select Browse to find the drive that we want to host or Telpay for Business files on. And once we find the folder that we have our bill pay, Telpay, and then our access number folder in, we're then going to select the TGL EXP folder. We'll open it up. We'll select the latest uh, Simply Accounting file. We'll select Open. We'll select Next. We'll select OK. And then we'll select Finish. And it's now zeroed out your clearing account for you. You've also completed the payables process.